to meditate is to train the mind. And we train it by giving it an object to stay with, to see how long it can stay, how long it listens to us when you say, you stay here. And if you try to stay in one place, you're going to run into problems. But that's how the meditation helps you give rise to discernment, to figure out how to get around the problems. If there's pain in the body, how do you not suffer from the pain? Pain in the mind, how do you not get involved with the pain in the mind? It's possible. These are problems that we can solve. These are challenges that we can meet. This is what makes you makes human life worthwhile, is that we deal with the challenges. We don't run away from them. We take on what challenges we feel we're able to handle, and sometimes push ourselves a little bit more than we think we're able to handle. Otherwise, just life goes on, goes on, goes on, and then it stops. But if you figure it out, okay, what's wrong with the mind? Why can't the mind stay in one place? You'll learn a lot of things. And as human beings, we have this opportunity. There are a lot of levels of being where they don't have that opportunity. Even in the human level, there are a lot of people who just don't have the time to sit very still and look at their own minds. Hunger, poverty, push them. Wrong views push them so they don't look at their own minds. But here we've got the opportunity. This is what makes human beings noble. We can look at our suffering and not have to just wallow in it and not have to get sucked into it. We can figure out a way out. So as long as you've got breath, make use of it. Look to see what you can learn about the mind as you breathe. Each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. Because it's in rising to challenges that we ennoble the mind. Because this is an ennobling practice. We're looking for something of solid value, something where we don't have to keep on feeding off the world. And in the course of that, we do a lot of good for the world. But what really makes it noble is the fact that the mind, at the, when it reaches ultimate happiness, doesn't have to feed, doesn't have to take anything away from anyone else. There's no harm involved to anybody, not to yourself, not to anybody else. And as long as we have the opportunity to, to look for that and search for that and find it, that's what makes life noble. So value your life. because it gives you these opportunities.